In this tutorial of the OpenGate Small Business Support functionality, we'll cover four main areas. The Support Dashboard, Creating a Case, the Support Representative Dashboard, and finally, Configuration Options. We'll start in the Business Manager role. As you can see here in the Today Dashboard, the Customer Support section shows there are four open cases, one of which is a critical priority, two are high priority, and two cases are older than two days. We can click on any one of these to zoom directly into those cases, or click on the Support Dashboard to open the overall Support Dashboard. Now in this case we get a repeat of our open cases. We can either create a case, show all the cases, or below here we can see a summary of case performance by month. If you double click the graph, it'll pop open a larger view and you can in fact filter it by date and you can see here by case type. Now these particular graphs can be changed just by clicking the button here and you can scroll through the list of available graphs that you have defined or come prepackaged with OpenGate Small Business. So let's go ahead and go to the case summary and we'll just look at our open cases. So we have four open cases here. We see the customer name. You can click on the hyperlink to open the detail view of the case. The status, their open, their priority, who they're assigned to, open and closed, and then the days to resolution. So as you can see here, this is demo data, so it's been uh, open for quite a while. And then who the customer contact is. You can search up at the top here by keyword or filter by the available statuses. And down below you'll get the case detail, as well as on the right hand side, actions and quick facts. So as we can see here, Stevens and Stewart has brought us $490 of revenue. If I click on Williams and Company, it'll pull back that this particular customer has brought in $714 in revenue. They have two cases and both are open. We can click here on the detail. And as you can see here, we've got a drop down of the customer. The source can help you to see where your cases are coming from. This is a configurable lookup, so you could add additional sources if you like, just so you can see whether or not most of your cases are coming in electronically or uh, via phone or other means. Customer contact, these are all the available customer contacts. And just note, if, uh, if I wanted to add another contact that doesn't exist yet, I can actually do that here. So we'll just uh, type in test contact. And it prompts us whether or not we want to add this. So if you haven't added them to the database already, you can do so. And then, of course, you can add details later about this particular contact. Who the case is assigned to, this will be important if you're giving users access to their My Support dashboard. They'll only see the cases that are assigned to them in that instance. The red asterisks will denote whether or not it's a required field or not. So as you can see here, there's really only three. The customer name, who it's assigned to, and then the description itself. So the description can uh, hold quite a bit of information, uh, but uh, you also have the option to add activity notes, which we'll cover in a moment for even more detail. Now under the category, these are uh, categories you can set up uh, to reflect whatever categories are, are appropriate for your business, but uh, we've got several here. And these also can be dynamically added, so if you type one in that doesn't exist, it can prompt you to uh, indicate whether or not you want to add that. The root cause, of course, is important because as you're tracking metrics around uh, your support cases, you're going to want to see what those root causes are so that you can address those with corrective action. Finally, the uh, outcome. Uh, what was the final outcome for this particular case? Now, note that's different from the uh, status, which would be open, closed, uh, or whatever statuses are appropriate for your business. But the outcome is another way that can be helpful for you to track metrics around uh, what was the final outcome. Did you have to give a refund? Was uh, the product repaired? Or, or whatever is uh, the, the right kind of decision for your business. The related product is another way that you can start to track uh, support cases against uh, a related product in your business. So here you can see we have all the available products that we, uh, we sell. Under activities, you can start to add notes related to the to this particular case over time. If you double click the date it'll automatically add today's date. And then on the notes view here you can click that plus sign to see an even more detailed view of the notes related to this case. As well as select the contacts 
if they have an email address that will show up in parentheses. Under owned products, you can see all the products that this particular customer owns, how many they own and the order related to that. Now this of course is re relevant in terms of entitlement. In an instance where a customer may log a case but in fact it's not a product that they own, you'll get a warning that says they haven't purchased this product. As with throughout the OpenGate Small Business product, you can set up customizable fields. Lastly, we've got a, a create reminder. Whenever you uh, create this here, it will automatically uh, populate the uh, case text here, but you can change that as well as the due date and the priority. And this will appear in your reminders window. So that's the pop-up window right here. So now we've got that and in fact if I double click it it will drill right back into this record. So you've got immediate visibility if you need to create reminders. Now when I go to close a case it's going to require several pieces of information. Uh, to close it it's going to ask you for the category and the outcome. When I click on resolved it's going to ask whether or not to set the close date to today. You can say yes or no and then it'll turn green to indicate that it's been resolved. So that's creating a case. Now let's look at what a user will see. I'm going to use the role testing feature within the product, an administrative feature, to uh, change to be a support representative. And now we can see this is my customer support dashboard. It's going to show uh, just the cases that are uh, owned by me. You won't see the performance metrics and that's because you may or may not want your end users to see that kind of performance. Those sort of statistics might be relevant only to uh, to yourself. So it's a limited set of visibility for a user in that case. And lastly, let's go ahead and look at how we can set up the support function. <clears throat> Under Cases in the uh, Application and Preferences screen, you'll see you can set up a default priority as well as the default owner. So if you only have one support representative in your company, every time they create a new case, it'll just automatically add Jessica McDonald or whoever else is your user uh, to that support case. So that concludes our demonstration of the customer support function and how to set it up and use it. Thanks for your time.